Hello friends, this is Manjiri. In this video, we shall see another intensity transformation in spatial domain. Called as the gamma transformation or the power law transformation. As earlier, for an input image R and an output image S, the gamma transformation is defined by S is equal to C into R is to gamma, where C and gamma are positive constants. Gamma transformation is useful for mapping a narrow range of dark input values into a wide range of output values, with the opposite being true for high values of input levels. Let us try to compute the gamma transformation for an image. So, we start by importing our library CV2. and we import the numerical library which is numpy using an instance np now i'm going to read my first image that is image underscore one let us have a look at this image I'm going to read the image fractured underscore spine dot diff. So this input image is a magnetic resonance image of an upper thoracic human spine with a fracture dislocation and spinal cord impingement. To expand the gray levels of the input image, which is a little dark, we can use power law transformation. So let us try this. So we are going to read image 1, which is the fractured spine. And we read it by using cv2.imread. That is fractured spine dot tiff. And we read it as a grayscale image. Now, let us use the value gamma equal to 2 and check out the results. I stored the image in image underscore 2. And since I'm going to use a mathematical function called power, I'm using the numpy library by its instance np and I am using this power function onto my image which I have read that is image 1 and I am raising this image 1 to the power gamma which is 2. We can also check the result which we obtain by raising the image to any other power say I'm using some other power called gamma is equal to 3 and I produce another image say img3 by the same operation that is np dot power of img1 raised to gamma let us also check with some other gamma that is gamma is equal to 4 and produce the image img4 by power of img1 raised to the new gamma which is 4. We can display all these images by using cv2.im cv2 show. First, I am going to display the input image, which is present in the variable img underscore 1. 
and then I have the second image which is the gamma 2 image and that is present in image 2 now it, we can replace these lines because all these are similar as gamma 3 image 3 and gamma 4 as the window name and the variable is image 4 finally we use the cv2 dot wait key and destroy all windows cv2 dot wait key and cv2 dot destroy all windows so let us save this program in the directory where the image is found as gamma save it now run the program so these are the images this is the first image which is the input image this is the gamma 3 image gamma 4 image you can see this is the input gamma 2 image gamma 4 and gamma 3 so all these are subjective to the application you are using so you can try out the different values of gamma and produce a result so we can see that in a in the output images the details are much more visible than the input so that was the log power law transformation these are the references okay then bye